As the 2011 NCAA football season opens, the California Vulcans look forward to a season of great potential as they try to claim an elusive national championship. Good evening, everyone. My name is Will Moore, and alongside me is my broadcast partner, Clinton Logan, tonight broadcasting from Hepner Bailey Field at Adamson Stadium, where tonight the number 12 California Vulcans will take on the number 13 St. Cloud State Huskies. Yeah, you talk about the Vulcans coming in here, and last year was the fourth straight appearance for these Vulcans in the NCAA playoffs. So a lot of good football coming out of this Vulcan team. And of those four times, three of them, they've reached the semifinal game. So they'll be looking to start off fresh against the Huskies today. A very impressive performance from the Vulcans in the past few seasons, seasons including six straight PSAC West championships. Look, talking about the PSAC, the, the conference is had their preseason poll come out a couple weeks ago and it's got California on the top once again no surprise really this is the sixth straight year they've been picked to win the conference yeah California just edging out Mercyhurst both of them getting four first place votes but California with a better record they're going to sit up at top Mercyhurst is going to be their main team to beat in this conference so we're going to see if they can out battle Mercyhurst also down there can't forget about Slippery Rock and IUP they're always threats to come in there and play spoiler, if not win the division themselves. Talking about the St. Cloud State Huskies, they are coming out of the NSIC, the Northern State, Northern Sun Intercollegiate Conference, and in their preseason conference, they were finished, they were predicted to finish second in the conference. Yeah, a very difficult team that they have to go up against, Minnesota Duluth. They are the defending NCAA Division II champions, so that's going to be their big hurdle in that conference, but they can sit in their second. They have a good ride into the playoffs. Yes, Minnesota Duluth has held a grip on that conference for a long time, but St. Cloud with a win here tonight can look to start to play upset here and try to take over the conference. This is the first all-time meeting between California and St. Cloud but both teams are ranked in the NCAA Top 25. Let's take a look at the AFCA poll. Exactly. You look at California sitting in at the number 12 spot and St. Cloud State right behind them at 13. We talked about Minnesota Duluth. They are the defending champions, so they'll sit up there at one. A couple other teams you want to look at there. Bloomsburg up in ninth, and we have a couple other teams such as Mercyhurst in the PSAC ranked at 17, so some good competition this year. Yeah, healthy competition all around from both conferences. Finally, we're going to take a look at a couple players to watch here tonight. For the Vulcans, we've got a brand new quarterback just into the program here, Peter Lalick. He's a transfer from Oregon State and Virginia before that. Yeah, Lalick coming in here has not played a college game since uh, 2007 when he did play for Virginia. He played eight games for them. So he has that experience in the D1 level. It should carry over very well to the D2 level here against St. Cloud State. We're going to see how Lalek does in his first appearance for the Balkans. Yes, the California faithful here are expecting to see great things from Peter Lalek, but the St. Cloud State Huskies, they've already seen some great things out of second-year quarterback Philip Klapaki. Yeah, Klapaki is the exact definition of a dual threat. He led the team in rushing last year as well as passing, obviously, but he is such so dangerous when he gets out of that pocket. California's defense tops in pretty much every category last year in the PSAC. They're going to have to be on their game if they want to stop Klapaki. Yeah, he is that dual threat, and you, he has always the potential to take off and run whenever he feels pressure, and he's only a sophomore, so he can only get better from last season. So who will come out on top in this matchup? It's going to be a great one here from Adamson Stadium. Number 12, California. Number 13, St. Cloud. Coming up next right here on CUTV. All right, the kick is away, and the 2011 Vulcan football season is underway as the kick will be taken and brought up to about the 29-yard line where he will be brought down, and it looks like we may have a loose football. Yep. And we do. Right off the tackle, Nixon got the return, kind of spun out of a tackle at first, but as he was going down to the ground, the ball came loose, and just unfortunate start here for the Vulcans. Second and three. Looks like it's going to be a quarterback sneak, and Klapaki's going to carry it into the end zone by himself. Touchdown. For St. Cloud State, and they lead 6-0. Clap hockey again with the fake right there. Everyone bites on especially Marcus Cook there. He thought he had the sack in the backfield. 
but Clap Hockey just has an easy little lane right in the end zone. California is going to have to find an answer to this trickery offense. Yes, first and goal from the 14 now. They're going to be backed up, and it's going to be Walker again next to Clap Hockey. It's going to be a completed pass up to the right side, and that's number three into the end zone once again for another touchdown. Damon Treat getting in for a Huskies touchdown. And one of the things you want to point out there, Tyler Allery, a great block on the outside on one of the Cal U defenders. Looked like it was Sean Anderson, but a great block there. Opens up the corner of the end zone, and it is a touchdown there for Damon. 14 yards into the end zone for the Huskies. And really, their offense has just looked fantastic so far. Tackle. Clap hockey moving quickly now, as he's going to have his pass intercepted. That's picked off by number 91, 61. Thomas Mulaba and the California Falcons are going to run it into the end zone after the fumble. What an electrifying play. Wow. What just happened? Thomas Mulaba, the defensive lineman, comes up with the interception. And as he's bringing, brought down the fumble, California picks it up and runs it into the end zone. Let's take a look here at this. Yeah, we're going to get to see the big man run here. How exciting is that whenever a defensive lineman makes the play? And in all the confusion, he coughs up the ball, and it's going to be picked up by the Falcons who run it in to the end zone for a touchdown. That would be number 28 that would finally take it in. Eric Livesey, but it looks like this may be coming back. Yeah, that was Robbie Green who picked up the fumble, but the Vulcan or the we have referees. An whistle. It'll be California's ball, first and ten at the 21 ball. Yeah. The 21 well, this, ball. There, this is going to be an unpopular decision. Let's take a look at the replay here. And it looked like the ball was coming loose as he was going to the ground. We're going to see. Right here, he's coming down. That ball is out. Yeah. That I, ball is out before he comes down as he lands. He lands on number 16, and that's going to be Philip Kapaki, the quarterback. That may cost the Vulcans here 315. Now, third and three for the Huskies. A big third down attempt here as they are in the red zone once again. Clap hockey has time, but now he's going to be hit and sacked. Dropped in the backfield. That's going to be a huge loss. The Vulcans getting to him. This time, it's number. 31, that's Eric Harris. And alongside him is a couple other Vulcans in there making the stop. Great job here as the two defenders get right up in the face of Clap Hockey, force him to run backwards, and they finally bring him down. It's third and goal here for the Huskies. They have to score on this, on this play here as they're going to try to hand it off again. No, they're going to fake. It's going to be Clap Hockey diving into the end zone, and he gets hit midway through his dive, but it's not enough of an effort as he manages to get in another touchdown and on the ground. Just like we saw in the first quarter of this game, the fake up the middle. Clap Hockey just tries to run it in. A big hit there, but it's all for nothing as Clap Hockey puts it in for the score. It's 25-3 pending the extra point, and it looks like St. Cloud State's going to roll into California and upset the number 12 